Hey guys, back again here on Fina Pier. Uh, just to do a bit of a bait demonstration today and hopefully get a bit of fishing in afterwards as well. Unbelievably clear day here in Phoenix, but it's really misty, kind of foggy. So I wouldn't fancy being out on the boat today, but a um, bit of bait fishing. Uh, the trace I'm going to be using today, five ounce lead, short snoods, and just these little pop-ups. Now, trace is three hook trace, 60 pound body, 15 or sorry 12 pound amnesia snoods trace just in and around six foot long i don't like to go too much longer for the pier in the snoods or the body so i'm going to just show you a few different um, ways of baiting up and that's what we're going to concentrate on today so lugworm one of the most versatile baits going there's very little that won't take it and you'd be surprised what you can get on it uh, one of the lads had a massive session on the thornback rays one time using just straight lug trying to target bass so, what I like to do, some guys go from the bottom and have the head, the hook come out the top. I like to go the opposite way. It's just what I've always done and so I'm going to continue to do until I, uh, until I find out any different. But I haven't really ever found much of a difference between the two and I have tried them side by side. So, I like to try and keep my lug intact as much as possible. So not the hook coming in and out all over the place. Again, it's all up to personal preference. So you get a nice neat bait, make sure your hook is gone through. Then what I like to do for the winter fishing, for the whiting and things, is a small piece of mackerel. See it there? And just pop it on. Now you have your bait. I like to limp off the tails and these, just so the dabs and the whiting don't come up behind it and uh, take off your bait. So pull our pop up down a bit further that's what you have here the first of our baits the lugworm now for the middle hook get our claw it should be a bit more organized there middle hook I'm going to put a bit of sandy line now like not really something that I'd be using an awful lot in the winter but doing a bit of species hunting and it is just a bit of pleasure session so there's no harm to change it up a bit so I have the sand deal which is like a small medium type sand deal what I like to do is take your scissors cut off the head just behind the eyes is where I like to go and just behind the little uh, hole on them so again <coughs> pop ups on this one as well Push them back up while you're baiting up. So I take the hook in the bottom and out. Pull it through. And I go down again around this far and pull it out again. Pull it down. So now you have it like this. Now what you do next is bait elastic. Try the hands off. And what I do is I hold it, a bit complicated here, like so, and just wrap it around. That's until you just get it started. Now I like to put a lot on, some guys don't. So, put your sand deal on. A nice neat little bait. If you want to pimp it out another little bit, Just add a small little sliver of mackerel and uh, cold hands like I have right now. What you can also do is stick the hook in your hand. <laughs> so here we go. Log tip of the, or sandy tip with a small bit of mackerel. Again the pop up. This is just to give a little bit of movement in the tide. Entice those doggies in. Maybe the whiting. Just never know. And last but not least, we're going to use a bit of bluey. Now this bluey has been out for almost a week accidentally in the boot but we're going to try it because it's a pleasure session and no point in wasting it so what i'm going to do is cut a little hole in it make i like to make it a long diamond shape and cut a little hole in it take our last hook and i like to go the flesh part out Take your hook back in and flick it through. Let's 
No. Now this is where these little tools come in very handy. The dad has arrived and he's gonna. No. Get the elastic. And what this little tool does, it just allows it to sit straight for you. Takes a bit of the uh, finickiness out of it. And you end up with a nice streamlined bait. Are you ready? Slide it off. Now, I like to take off the extra little bits of elastic. Just a, again, a personal preference. And there you'll see it. A nice streamlined bait. You can also take off this top bit, just make sure not to cut your snoot off. So, that's the first trace ready. We'll get that into the water. I'm going to come back now in a few minutes and do a black log and a couple of little more finicky baits to show you off a few of them.